All right, we're talking hot weather with the Red Cross this morning. Rich Woodruff here from the Red Cross. Rich, thanks so much for being here with us to talk about this topic. This is something I think we're from Utah. We live in a desert, right? We, mm -hmm. we overestimate maybe our, our ability to be in the heat and in the sun. But as our forecasters have told us, triple digits down south, nearly triple digits up here. Sure. We definitely need to worry about it. Yeah, it's that time of year. It's really starting to heat up, and uh, this much heat can be very dangerous if you don't take uh, some precautions and understand right. what some symptoms are if you might be getting yourself in trouble. Okay, so heat exhaustion, heat stroke. Can we talk about those for a second? What are the symptoms that you see? Yeah, with those? Uh, heat exhaustion. You begin to feel uh, one of the telltale signs is uh, is cramping in the abdomen and the legs, and just uh, sort of a feeling of uh, nausea. Uh, just, just not feeling well. You can usually tell that something's going bad. Your body's telling you yeah. we're not okay. Yeah, yeah. Heating up, and, and of course you want to mitigate that with uh, with getting into a cool place. Uh, drink plenty of fluids and. Uh, and just take precautions in the first place so you don't get yourself in trouble. Light clothing, avoid dark clothing that absorbs heat. Little steps like that can help uh, keep you in, a, in pretty good shape. And then heat stroke, is that different than heat exhaustion? Heat stroke is life threatening. Uh, heat stroke can be extremely dangerous, uh, vomiting, even loss of consciousness. Uh, it's a pretty uh, you know, dramatic uh, uh, series of, of uh, you know, symptoms that uh, you, know, you really want to get very, very cooled down very quickly. And uh, if needed, even call 911. So I have a confession for you. As, a, as an older teenager, I got really sunburned on the beach. It was cloudy. I wasn't sure. paying attention or being safe. The next morning, I woke up totally sunburned and then felt the effects of heat stroke. Like I woke up, passed yeah. out almost immediately. It was, I mean, it was pretty intense. Yeah, the sun can be, uh, even on cloudy days, all those yeah. UV rays can get through, and so sunscreen obviously is going to help right. help with that, but that's a good point that uh, in that process of staying safe, you want to make sure and be shaded or at least have some sunscreen on. And everyone's body is going to react a little differently to these yeah. scenarios, so you want to be safe. Yeah, if you're light, more light-complected, some mm -hmm. people are more prone to sunburn and that sort of thing, so right. you know, be aware of the symptoms, be aware of your own uh, propensity to get yourself in trouble. You guys have an app with a lot of great reminders and information about this kind of thing. Can you tell me about what you're offering? Yeah, there's a, quite a checklist and the symptoms we talked about. We just touched on a few, but the app is the first aid app. It's free for download on whatever platform you want. So get that. It's a good reference tool to have handy at your fingertips. And mm -hmm. uh, heat is one of the uh, issues that we want to be aware of this time of year. So that app right. will help with that. And so it's just called the first aid app. You can find that wherever you know apps are, are sold. Red Cross first aid app at your favorite app store. It'll pop up pretty easily. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then can we talk about, let's go through that list again. When we're preparing to go outside, we want to use Utah's beautiful outdoor areas. One of the few things we can do right now during quarantine. Mm -hmm. What should we have in our backpacks? What should we be wearing as we head outside? Uh, plenty of water, obviously. You want to stay hydrated. Again, the clothing is very important. Lightweight, loose fitting, avoid dark colors. Uh, th that's just some basic stuff. And think of what time of day it is. You know, if you're going to mm -hmm. do your exercise, especially anything strenuous, earlier morning, uh, quite a bit later evening, but mostly the early morning, it's going to be not quite as hot. Take your siestas in that mid-afternoon. Yes, the there you go. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Rich Woodruff with the Red Cross. We'll have all of that information on our website too, abc4.com/gmu. Thanks so much, Rich. Brian. Thank you.